right, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name's David Urey. I do make my living out here as an actor. It's a, a glamorous life. Um, some people know me as the guy who got crushed by an ATM on Breaking Bad. I, thank you. I pretty much exclusively play meth addicts, <laughs> homeless guys, and sex offenders, which is exactly what my guidance counselor predicted, <laughs> except for the TV part. And I, I mean, I love what I do, but whenever someone asks me what I do for a living, I say I'm an actor, they always give me this like sideways smile, like, oh, what restaurant do you work at? <laughs> you ask me what I do, I'm just telling you, it's not like, this is my dream job. It's not like it's my dream to stand around the set of CSI New York going, look, I don't know, man, I didn't see anything. <laughs> that's not my dream. That's, that, that's my day job that I do while I'm trying to accomplish my dream of becoming a Major League Baseball player by the time I'm 47. I've still got a few years. I, I do have to maintain this look at all times to be a character actor, which is okay by me. But it means sometimes out in the real world I get mistaken for the characters that I play on TV. <laughs> I was in Seattle like a year ago. <laughs> I got up really early, I decided I'd walk and get a cup of coffee, but I forgot about the weather. And I was just wearing a t-shirt, so I got, I made it like a block, and then this howling wind came, it was freezing, and this woman who sees me comes up and she says, let me buy you a sweater. It's <laughs> like, no, 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 that's like, I'm fine. She says, no, 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 I want to do it. <laughs> and she calls her husband over and he says, we'll take you shopping. We'll get you whatever you need. No, no, really, I just need like a single short cappuccino. <laughs> Getting me this beautiful cashmere sweater. <laughs> so, you know, it, it has its privilege. People always say to me, playing these homeless guys all the time, isn't that bad for your self esteem? But I consider myself America's hilf. <laughs> homeless, I'd like to. <laughs> you know, people in LA are always complaining about the homeless problem. And I don't think it's that bad, though, really, because for every homeless person, there's always at least one abandoned sofa on the sidewalk. <laughs> 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 markets. You know, it's such a great place to get the fresh organic produce that I end up letting rot in my fridge. And it's important to me that it's organic because I hate the idea of getting pesticide residue on my fingers when I'm throwing it away. <laughs> now, you guys, how do you guys feel about gay marriage? Yeah! So, I'm a big supporter of gay marriage. I think what goes on between two people in the privacy of their own home is none of my business. But I still want to know <laughs> <laughs> what goes on. I have lots of questions. <laughs> like when two women kiss for the very first time, do both their legs go up? <laughs> He thinks I'm a repressed homosexual because I'm always asking him all these questions like, how do you guys do this? How do you guys do that? Can I suck your dick? <laughs> so I've been dating a lot. <laughs> I have. I've been dating. My friend told me that dog parks are a great place to pick up women. Yeah, but I, I went to one and all I saw was women picking up shit <laughs> was not a big turn on for me. And so I started doing the, the internet dating. You know, I know what you guys are thinking. Everybody says that online dating is just a bunch of creeps and weirdos, but I don't know, I'm on there. <laughs> I went on a lot of first dates, <laughs> you know, a lot of bad first dates. You know what the worst phrase that you can hear on a first date is? I'm not racist, but like, you know some seriously racist shit is going to follow. Like, it's never going to be something totally innocuous. Like, I'm not racist, but I really like chili cheese fries. Oh, now I know two distinct, very interesting facts 
about you and really getting to know each other. <laughs> I actually did uh, meet someone online that I've been dating, and it's getting kind of serious, so I've been trying to have as much premarital sex as I can. But from what I understand, postmarital sex isn't really a thing. <laughs> I, unless you're having an affair. But it, it is getting serious, and she took me to meet her, her mom and dad for Thanksgiving, and she told me, you know, they're kind of old-fashioned, so we can't tell them that we met online, you know, because it'll just freak them out. So when they asked me, I, I just said, we met waiting in line for our, our HIV test. <laughs> <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> and I want you guys all to make our next comedian. <laughs>